Welcome! You are now in Area 9. We will tour you around the different laboratories of MPSPC. First, we visit Room 207, the College's Chemistry Laboratory located at the second floor of the old academic building. The Chemistry Laboratory room has two doors that open outward for easy access in case of emergency. Our Chemistry Laboratory room is fully equipped with wide working stations, stools, appropriate lighting and ventilation. It is also installed with a LED TV, fire extinguisher, medicine kit, and safety signages. The furniture and equipment arrangements allow free flow of movement and enable students to work comfortably without interference. Safety and precautionary measures are also well implemented to avoid unfortunate incidents or accidents in the laboratory. Properly labeled apparatuses, equipment, and glassware are found at the stockroom. During laboratory classes, students are required to wear their protective gear when they conduct chemistry experiments with the laboratory's equipment and apparatuses. Next, we will visit room 206, our biology laboratory room just next door. The biology laboratory room also has two doors opening outward for easy entry and exit. Inside the biology laboratory, we have multiple tables and stools as well as installed LED TV, fire extinguisher, medicine kit, and safety signages just like the previous room. Apart from being well ventilated, it also has good lighting that conform to standard requirements. Properly labeled apparatuses, equipment, and glassware can also be accessed from the stockroom. Microscopes, human skeletons, and body parts as well as various models and other diagrams are displayed at the biology laboratory room. Students who conduct their biology experiments here are also required to wear their laboratory gowns and personal protective equipment. Moving on, let us go up one floor to room 306 where the physics laboratory room is situated. We are now on the third floor of the same old academic building. These are the outward entrance and exit doors of the physics laboratory. Inside there are many laboratory tables equipped with charging areas. The wide spaces in between the tables allow students to collaborate and move freely around the room. The physics laboratory room has a LED TV, fire extinguisher, medicine kit, and safety signages. Various physics apparatuses and equipment are properly labeled and found inside the cabinets. The physics laboratory room has a complete computer set for students' use in analyzing their experiments. Photos show students determining the heat of fusion of ice using calorimeter, digital balance, thermometer, and steering rod. In the physics laboratory, students excitedly work on their electricity and magnetism experiments using multiple testers and other measuring devices. Next stop is the Bisowa Simulation Room. Inside the simulation room is a clean and well-maintained executive table. A conference table is present including some facilities like television, speaker, microphone, and table set. We go now to the different computer laboratories. First tap is the maintenance room in 308. This is where defective computers are stored. The computers are used in lessons on computer parts and repairs. This room allows students to practice or do their demonstration in their topics. The room is full of computer accessories like LAN wire, headphones, keyboards, wirings, projector, and many more. These accessories are of high quality and well-functioning. Our next stop on the third floor is the Educational Technology Laboratory Room. Inside the Educational Technology Laboratory Room, multiple sets of computer units which have complete computer accessories are in place. Rules and laboratory policies are also well implemented. 
The EdTech laboratory room has a baggage counter, instructional materials, a printer, a LED TV screen, an air conditioner, and a whiteboard. Students can view the audiovisual and instructional materials and make use of the licensed software installed in the computer to enhance learning and instruction. Our last stop on the third floor are the computer laboratory rooms. You are now looking at the computer laboratory rooms. Students and instructors who use the laboratory room can move and settle in their seats easily with the spacious arrangements of the furniture and computers. Just like the Educational Technology Laboratory Room, these rooms are equipped with complete computer units with complete set of accessories, a baggage counter, whiteboard, projector, LED monitor screen, printers, Wi-Fi or routers, air conditioning unit, and licensed computer software and applications. Now, let us walk up to the fourth floor and visit the Research and Creative Arts Laboratory Room. The Research and Creative Arts Laboratory Room is found on the fourth floor of the old academic building. It has recently been renovated and updated. Its two doors, opening outwards, allow ease in entering and exiting from the laboratory. In this room, we can see complete computer sets placed in individual cubicles with the main control unit or faculty computer unit in front. The room has air conditioning and lights that foster an environment that is conducive for learning. A projector is placed for audiovisual learning purposes. Students enhance their speech and presentation skills in this laboratory. Next stop in the fourth floor is the defense room. The defense room is equipped with a well-maintained executive table, air conditioner, and a television. With its lighting and maintenance, the cleanliness of the room is being emphasized. This room is being used by students for their presentations, most especially when they have their thesis final defense. We now exit through the back door as we will go up to the auditorium. This is the entrance to the auditorium. We are greeted with a spacious, well-ventilated, and naturally lighted area which can accommodate up to 800 people. When we look at the front, we see the elevated stage complete with a podium and a screen projection. The auditorium is completely equipped with various lightings, sound system with complete sets of functioning speakers, electric fans, chairs, projection screens, pulpit, maintenance equipment. Students and teachers conduct their physical education classes, orientations, conferences, and extracurricular activities in the auditorium. Let's go down one floor and go to the other building to visit the other natural science laboratories. We are now in the new and improved natural science laboratory rooms, rooms SB4A, and SB4B. These rooms are intended to accommodate bigger classes with laboratory courses in the natural sciences. Multiple tables, stools, whiteboard, first aid kits, and water sources are installed. It is also well ventilated and equipped with appropriate lighting for wholesome laboratory learning experience. Welcome to the Department of Hospitality and Tourism Management. This is the new HM Hall. Its state-of-the-art features enable the students to exemplify their skills during their laboratory classes. The new HM Hall also serves as a meeting venue for VIP guests, college-wide meetings, and departmental activities. It has an air conditioner, television, ambient and accent lighting that creates a sophisticating environment. The vertical blind curtains may be adjusted to see the vicinity of the color. First off, let us start with the hat kitchen. The new kitchen laboratory is equipped with advanced kitchenware and cooking equipment, which provides a simulating kitchen environment for students to enhance their cooking skills as well as further enhance their knowledge and vision of catering culture. 
The new kitchen laboratory has six preparation areas. Each preparation area has a lavatory, heavy-duty burner gas stove, oven, and exhaust fan with adjustable lighting. In front, we have a separate lavatory that may also be used during laboratory classes and catering events. At the back portion of the new kitchen laboratory is the refrigerator. Next is the cold kitchen. The cold kitchen, or also known as guard manger, serves as the preparation for salads, sauces, sandwiches, and appetizers. We have preparation tables, garden, and chiller. That would be all for the kitchen. We go now to the tourism management laboratories. The travel agency is set to provide students the knowledge they need to acquire during their laboratory classes. It has a computer that is being used for booking flights, pamphlets of the different tourist destinations and tourist huts. These are some of the tourism students' outputs on the different transportation services. We also have tourism artifacts that are famous in Mountain Province. Our last stop for this tour is the audiovisual room. It has two doors opening outward for faster entry and exit. Oops, before entering, please notice the friendly reminder posted outside the AVR. Upon entering, we can see installed theater seats and other equipment necessary for an audiovisual room. The audiovisual room is fully functional and it has an air conditioner, a podium, a TV, a whiteboard, and an Epson projector. Faculty and students conduct engaging lectures, presentations, meetings, and seminars in this room. An operator stays inside the AVR cubicle to operate the sound system and to control presentations during conferences and meetings. Our last step for this tour is the hospitality management for beverage service area and the suite room. The beverage service area is being used for preparing alcoholic beverages and hot or cold non-alcoholic beverages. The espresso machine is being used to create quality coffee beverages. This allows the students to develop their skills by creating their concoctions using coffee as their base. Aside from the espresso machine, we have the Chemex, Hario V60, and Aereo Press, which are being used to create coffee manually. This is the dining area where indifferent events are being held. It has tables and chairs that may be arranged according to the number of guests. It can also be arranged with decorations that align the theme of the event. The front office is used by students to develop their skills in room reservation, room registration, and great assignment. Welcome to the suite room. The suite room has a queen-size bed, a cabinet, a mini fridge, a bedside table, a lampshade, and a baggage rack. has a bathtub and bathroom amenities. That is all for Area 9. We hope you had a great experience touring around the laboratories of MPSPC.